Well, okay, first of all, I would not say we've solved it. If, we was sol if it was solved, nobody would be dying of chronic infection at this point, okay? What we did was, well, let's just kind of back up from a historical standpoint. When I first started working in chronic infection, one of the first things we started working with were wounds. And wounds had a lot of, basically had not had a lot of modern medicine or research applied to them. It was originally a discipline that was uh, driven by nursing and still is to a large extent, but physicians and researchers have only been working in wound care for the last 10, 15 years. So there's a lot of low-hanging fruit. Well, once we learned that the biofilms were the primary phenotype in chronic wounds, and we did that through SEM, you know, scanning electron micro microscopy, et cetera, we needed new tools to go after that. And so we basically started doing a lot of screening on anti-biofilm agents. And if you put the results of those screening tests, which we've looked at probably over a thousand things at this point, they fall into three categories. They're either things that we can get through the FDA rapidly because they're natural products and not considered a, a drug. There are things that the FDA is going to consider a drug for sure, so that's going to be more money and time to get to market. And there are also things that the FDA would consider a biologic, okay, uh, which it has a similar time frame. So the initially, our initial focus has been uh, the first group. And so we basically look to nature. Nature compacts biofilms every day. Every plant on the universe has strategies to keep stuff from growing on it, sticking and growing on it, and et cetera. So we try to kind of harness that. So we were working in lipids. We had a lot of background in lipids, especially for drug delivery. And it turns out a lot of lipids have, are either anti-biofilm signals or have, are anti-biofilm agents in their own right. And that's really a natural process. When you think about that, lipids are a primary component in breast milk. So the strategy for what, why are they there, okay? Strategy, one of the reasons lipids are in breast milk is to basically give uh, the infant some innate uh, infection resistance from, from biofilms, okay? And so we've leveraged all of those natural mechanisms that we can to come up with things that the FDA is gonna set as, you know, super safe and uh, as a natural something that we're already using in medicine.